Pottery is one of the earliest arts practiced by Filipinos. The Sagada Pottery Workshop was established during the year 2000 to keep the art of pottery alive and to serve as an alternative source of income as well. Sigrid Pangyay has worked at the Sagada Pottery Workshop since the year 2001 and never left since then. We make functional stuff, functional pots, and we also do some sculptural, sculptural, sculptural pots. So uh, we make bowls, teapots, or what, any, any um, you can sell. Like for example, for eating the bowls, the cups, the the maybe a container for sugar. We make those as functional uh, pieces because uh, uh, anybody can use it. Sigrid expresses that commercialism is highly affecting pottery as an art form. Selling pottery like this is uh, very hard. It's not uh, because you can you compare it with the uh, uh, other commercial pieces like other mugs or cups. The prices is very different. But we sell it as an art, of course, and we we try to to. Uh, uh, educate how it's done, how it's made, and to compare it with the other uh, pieces. Because like any other art form, it takes a long process. You can make it uh, fast uh, for it to be, you know, and uh, yes, the commercialism is the uh, commercial parts is affecting it. But um, it's, it's all about educating or making people aware how it's done, how the process of uh, pottery is. And um, I just I just wish wish it's easy or because uh, of course like like everybody else we have to choose a cheaper one from an expensive one. But it is an art form that is uh, not being recognized as much compared to painting or any other art form. These are some of the pieces that can be found at the Sagada Pottery Workshop. But before these beautiful pieces are done, a long process is followed. At first, when this was starting, we have to test the clay here, and then some of the soils, the clay for the body of the pots, and then the soils for uh, our different kinds of oxide uh, for the glazes, the glazes on the pots. Anyway, uh, once it's tested, a clay is tested, the clay that we were able to test is uh, two kilometers from here. So we get in bulk, we haul it in bulk, and then we soak it in those big buckets. We soak it in order for the clay to separate from the bigger particles like the rocks or any pebbles or any like maybe uh, uh, twigs that are mixed in the clay. And then after that, we sieve it, we screen it four times until it goes through a very fine, uh, very fine screen. Uh, it's uh, the size of that screen is 40 mesh. So it comes out, it's the consistency when it comes out, it's, uh, it's like chocolate drink. But uh, we have to dry, dry in that uh, rectangular uh, uh, wood there. We drip dry them and when it hardens, that will take maybe one or two months. And then uh, we mix about 20% of uh, uh, the minerals that we buy from Manila, which is combination of kaolin and silica. So our clay is combined with 80% Sagada clay and then 20% is combination of kaolin and silica that we buy from Manila. And then after that, we, uh, we pug it here, we mix them together in this pug mill. Uh, and then we age it. Any clay when it's aged longer is better. So this is already uh, aged. This is aged for one month only. But uh, with by then we can, uh, I can already use it in making. So uh, uh, this uh, I will uh, before we can uh, make it. Uh, I will wedge it first. <laughs> this is called wedging. The purpose of wedging is to remove the air bubbles inside the clay.
maybe wedge it about uh, one minute or more because uh, when uh, there's air bubble left in it it's hard to form it's hard to make a pot of it and also it will break the pot when when uh, there's air bubble in it it can cause breakage after wedging the actual forming of the pot can already be done center the clay right now it's wobbling and to center that you need the speed of the wheel there's a pedal here I have to press with my foot and then uh, put the pressure with both of my hands bottom remove the unnecessary like clay because uh, to make it uh, same thickness from the bottom until the top and then put designs maybe handles or maybe put designs in uh, engrave some uh, designs in it and then let it dry again for another one month and then I can do the bisque firing bisque firing the first firing that will take 12 hours in gas, we use gas uh, kiln or gas oven for it. So uh, uh, 12 hours of uh, bisque firing, and then after that, uh, we let it cool down for two days. And uh, uh, we apply the glazes, we glaze application, and then uh, uh, put it back in the kiln for another 14 hours of firing. And then uh, again, we let it cool down for another three days. And then that's the finale of it. 
Pottery has been a significant part in Sigrid's life and she has learned a lot of lessons from it. Since I started pottery, it, it has a big uh, impact. Uh, I got addicted to it and uh, the best thing about this, uh, it is uh, uh, I'm, I love doing it, which is good. Not, not everybody like love their work, but they have to do it. And uh, it taught me patience. It taught me uh, uh, to be more passionate on what you do. And it, uh, yes, uh, those uh, those uh, attitude that uh, that helped me uh, because of doing it. doing pottery. You have to be patient, uh, 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 like extremely uh, patient enough to handle all the the challenges in it like breakage and everything because you don't just make the form and it's finished it has a lot of uh, waiting and when it's done then it breaks it's, you know it's a lot of uh, it's a lot of work for miss sigrid pottery is more than just her profession it is her way of life in fact she has found some similarities of pottery in her life family and the love there's a process to everything there's a procedure uh, like pottery there's first steps before you can go to uh, another step before i can fire it i have to make it but before i can make it i have to prepare the materials for it same with uh, with uh, life life is never easy there are challenges uh, along with it same with uh, uh, love uh, it's not all happiness you know there, uh, when there's happiness there's uh, there's sadness behind it uh, with uh, with the family you have to be patient with if you have your own family you have to be patient and that's number one thing that uh, uh, that I really learned with pottery, that's why I can't stop with patience because, you know, uh, there's a lot of challenges along with it. With its complex procedures and the patience and heart that potters put into it, Sagada Pottery is indeed one of the riches that Sagada has to offer.